Hello everybody, this is DJ Selene, also known as Miss Corn, and I am over here because if you've seen my butterfly video, you know that when I was about to release the butterflies, a caterpillar came to my house. And, and here is another one trying to come inside my house. I really think they're thinking this is caterpillar sanctuary. <laughs> to see your friends. Very cute. And a few days later, he started making his chrysalis. And I'm going to call him Rodolfo. And he stayed in that chrysalis for 14 days. So on March 29th, he came out of the chrysalis. Hey, look who is here. It's Rodolfo. And he is a different kind of butterfly. Wow, look at that. Can't wait for him to open his wings so we could see the colors. Oh, look who's flying around. And today we are ready to release Rodolfo. He has not liked eating the, the little water and sugar that I put on the cotton for him. He also didn't like the orange. So I'm a little concerned that it's time for him to go find some food. And here he is. It turned out like I thought that he was a different kind of caterpillar than the painted ladies. And he really was. And he is a morning cloak and he is black with blue little markings i will show you a picture all right rodolfo is getting ready to be released and right now i'm going to open up and try to release him he is pretty um there he is it's gonna go pretty soon. Oh, there he goes. All right, he was pretty quick. I wanted to show his back and he just snuck out like any cool butterfly would do. Bye, Rodolfo, have a great life. Right after I released Rodolfo, I noticed on this wall, this little chrysalis. And I am so afraid that somebody walking down the street here will hit the chrysalis or a bird will eat it that I'm going to try to rescue it. So the plan is to get some dental floss and tie the chrysalis onto the dental floss and then bring it to the net in the house. Let's see if it works. Okay, so here we go. I'm gently going to try to wrap him. Oy. I'm going to make a knot. Okay, looks like it is uh, tied, so I'm going to try to remove him from the wall. Uh, he is very stuck. <laughs> I can't, I can't pull him out. All right, here he is. And here he is. I'm going to put him in the net and we'll see when he comes out. It probably should be soon. All right, so I put the chrysalis on the outside of this cup and we'll wait to see what happens. Oh, hello, look who's here. 
It's Wally. So as I was <laughs> as I was trying to put something in the net, uh, Wally came out. After I have to kind of get him back into the big net. So I'm gonna use a little butterfly net and hopefully be able to do it. I don't know. All right, I have him here. Oh. Can you see I got him here? Okay, I think I'm going to put the whole cardboard inside, so he won't fly away and I'm not gonna hurt him. He's pretty quick, that's all I can tell you. He's back uh, in, in the big net. I'm gonna take him outside. Here he is. All right, so here we are and we're going to let Wally go. He's the last butterfly. And let's see, he's probably going to go really quick. All right, bye Wally. Bye bye. It's a little bashful. <laughs> let's see if I can help him out. Gonna go now. Bye. All right, everybody, this is all for the saga of the butterflies, and I'm feeling a little bit of an empty net syndrome. Well, this has been fun watching caterpillars grow. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will be seeing you later. Bye.